Are you sure you're up to this? Oh, too right. He's as fit as a fiddle. My grandmother's fit as a fiddle, but she's not planning on running from Sydney to Melbourne. This is a serious race, and quite frankly, I don't believe you're up to it. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good, sir. I'll be right. Gentlemen, I'm going to have to level with you. I have sponsors investing vast amounts of money in this race. I have media contributing endless amounts of columns to this race. I have councils and governments committing their resources to this race. I also have athletes, great athletes from... And Cliff's one of them. Gentlemen, these athletes are world class. And Cliff, what, you're 61 and a potato farmer? I'm sorry, but I will not have my race turned into a farce. Therefore, I will not accept your registration. I used to have an old mongrel greyhound. Ugly putty thing. Used to take them rabbiting. And other guys would bring their dogs down from Melbourne or wherever and... And, and yeah, they'd, they'd catch plenty. But at the end of the day, when their dogs were knackered and laying under a tree panting, old Toby, it, it'd still be out there. <laughs> bring home my dinner. That dog was the most determined, stubborn bastard I have ever known. But I can tell you, hand on heart, that dog wasn't half the athlete you see standing before you. And I can tell you, Mr... Pal. Pal, if you don't let Cliffy run, you're not only doing us a great disservice, you're also doing a great disservice to your sponsors, the media and the race in general. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Didn't know you had a dog walk. I didn't. Back in the race, Walt. Should have put you in the motel tonight with Paul and Eunice. Oh, that's all right. Well, wanted to get used to this bed anyway. Big day tomorrow. Say to Pal, make him change his mind. No, no, Walt. No, no, champ. Shopping town is about this morning with the impending start of the Sydney to Melbourne Ultra Marathon. And of course, no Ultra Marathon would be complete without a Lutheran choir. Now listen up, you're a one pace pony. If any of these showboaters hit the gas, let them. Got him. Oh. That'll be great, Paul. Just run your own race. Okay, runners. Shit. <laughs> Take your marks. Ventilation. Huh. Good thinking. Good set. Hey, Wall. Thanks for coming along, mate. We're off. We're off. Ladies and gentlemen, we're off. Bloody hell. I bet you 50 bucks this bloke doesn't even make it to Gundagon. Who is he? Cliff Young. And it gets better. Have a look at this. 